Today, June 5th is World Environment Day. It's a good opportunity to think about what each of us can do to protect and nurture our environment. The Saskatchewan, uh, Saskatchewan Association for Resource Recovery Corp has some ideas and Ethan Richardson is here to share them with us. Good morning. Uh, good morning and how are you today? Doing very well. Thank you and thank you for your time this morning. Let's start with why is World Environment Day so important to recognize? Well, I think it's really important to recognize due to the day-to-day uh, -to -day impacts we can have on, um, on uh, the environment and uh, the small things we can do to help make sure that we're being efficient with our resources. All right, well, Sark makes it pretty easy to recycle used oil, oil filters, antifreeze, all those products in the containers. Tell me about how you do that. Um, yeah, so uh, used oil and oil filters uh, and our plastic containers as well as antifreeze are, are some products that can really be circular. And by that, me that I mean that it can be reused into the same product over and over again. Um, and uh, oil and antifreeze are great examples. When uh, when somebody comes to a eco center for free public drop off, and in Regina that eco center is uh, located at the landfill, uh, the used oil um, gets collected and then aggregated and brought to a processor where it can be remade into new lubricating oil. Or or upgraded into fuel uh, and antifreeze is totally circular that glycol in the antifreeze can be used over and over again once it's cleaned up and processed why should people recycle these products in the grand scheme of things is it going to make a large impact um yeah and that's a really good opportunity to to see that small individual actions can actually add up uh in saskatchewan i like to uh point out that we we recycle approximately uh, 18 million litres of oil every year. Uh, and when you do the greenhouse gas savings, uh, when you calculate that out, um, it's approximately 45,000 tonnes of CO2 equivalent that is, uh, that is avoided. And, and really, that's about Saskatchewan being efficient with our resources. We don't want to waste things and we want to make sure we can really reuse them uh, if we can. How much success has SARC seen with these types of recycling programs? Um, well, of course, our success really depends on the uh, on the community and individuals taking the right action. Um, so, you know, we like to get out into uh, rural communities as well as uh, larger centers to try and get that message out, uh, because. You know, when you've got four liters of oil sitting in your garage, uh, you know, nobody really wants that. It's not really a valuable resource. But, you know, once you take it to an eco center or a drop off point and it gets collected into a large enough volume, then all of a sudden that waste material actually has a value. Uh, so we do depend on the actions of, uh, of the public and of the do it yourself mechanics and especially of our uh, ag producers in our province for our success. Ethan, we only have about 30 seconds or so left, but is there anything else people should know about how and why to recycle these products? Um, well, the, if in only 30 seconds, the best thing to do is go to our website, uh, usedoilrecyclingsk.com, uh, and you'll find a lot of information there. And as well, we've got a toll-free number on the website if you'd prefer to uh, give us a call and talk to a real person. That website is a great resource. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Ethan. All right, thank you.